Hey guys, this is Sam, and today I want to talk about Apple's HomeKit, which is the ability to control lights and other smart accessories with Siri on your iPhone or iPad. So up until today, the smart lights that I used called LifeX were not compatible with HomeKit. You could not control them with Siri. You could only control them with another assistant like Amazon Alexa. And that integration worked really well, but for the longest time, I was waiting to be able to say, hey Siri, turn on the lights, and she would work with LifeX. Now for full disclosure, LifeX gave me the heads up that this feature was coming in the future, and they have sent me some free lights in the past. This video is not sponsored, but I am a big fan of their products and they have taken pretty good care of me. There are some other smart lighting options out there if you want to try those like Philips Hue, but I like LifeX because they don't require a bridge in between your router and then the lights, like the LifeX connect directly to your Wi-Fi, which was just easier for me to set up and use in a dorm room. Once you've grabbed the latest version of the LifeX app through the App Store, you can head back over to the LifeX app and update all of your currently connected lights firmwares for me it was version 2.69 on my Gen 3 A19 bulb. I was really curious to see how you were going to enable HomeKit on an already existing product because most products have a physical code printed on them. Well, what happens here is you sign it in with a specific home or location or address, and it's going to send you a virtual HomeKit code that is tied to your specific light. You'll have to temporarily save it to your camera roll or somewhere else on your phone because you will need to reference it in just a few seconds. After you have the virtual code, now it's time to pair that virtual virtual HomeKit code with your physical LifeX light. And the process for this is going to be very similar to pairing any other HomeKit accessory. After tapping through just a couple of other menus, you can finally enter your HomeKit code. I saved mine in my camera roll. I went back there and memorized the six or seven digit number and re-entered it once again. It failed the first time for whatever reason. If that happens, just try to set everything up one more time. And it worked like a charm the second time. And instantly, without any further setup, I could just say, hey Siri, turn on the lights or turn off the lights and it happened just like that. You can also say really cool things like Siri, make the light blue, or hey Siri, dim the light to 50% or 20%. And because you've integrated the LifeX lights with Apple's HomeKit, you can control them now, not only through Siri, but through the Home app as well, or through Control Center. Once I've gone here, you can see it says one of my favorite accessories is the default room lamp. You can go in here and adjust the brightness, change the color, view the details. You can even go to another page to view all of your rooms or automate the lights. There is so much stuff that you can do with HomeKit. And I'm so happy to see that HomeKit finally works with LifeX because it was delayed for the longest time it was supposed to be coming earlier this year in March or April. That never happened. It was delayed until now, but it finally works. Of course, there are once again other options out there like Philips Hue, and there are so many other HomeKit accessories, locks, blinds that you can all control with your phone and through Siri. If you use any HomeKit enabled accessories on the regular, as always, I would love to hear your thoughts. So let me know what accessories you use by leaving a comment down below. And if you're so interested in picking up one of these LifeX Series 3 lights, I will also leave a link to where you can purchase them on Amazon. If you enjoyed this video, as always, it would really help me out if you dropped a like down below. And of course, hit subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing great, and I will talk to you in the next one.